Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I'm talking about the movie Love and Monsters, movie directed by Michael Matthews. After starring in it are Dylan O'Brien, Jessica Henwick, Michael Rourke, um, Ariana um, Greenblatt, and many others to the cast here. In this world, in this movie here, we live in this world where the um, monsters are taking over the planet. Monsters are taking over. Now these aren't, now these aren't supernatural monsters, and these are monsters from, from, from an alien planet. They are animals that have been mutated and transform into these creatures. See, a, a long time ago, a comet was coming down to Earth to, to destroy the planet. And we managed to blow it up, but what's inside of the comet had these enzymes that affected and mutated all the cold-blooded creatures on the planet. So every, all the insects, all the um, some snails, the frogs, the lizards, anything like that that's cold-blooded got mutated and transformed into these huge, giant, monster-like creatures. And at first, we were holding our own, but they evolved and the bullets weren't doing nothing to them, missiles weren't doing nothing to them, this wiped us all out. It's not necessary. Now humanity has been living underground and they pretty much stay in their tribe. So whoever you went on the bucket with, that's who you staying with. That's who you with. That's your family now. That's your friends. And that's it. You don't, you don't see anybody else ever again. And he's pretty much talking. He, and he had a girlfriend named Amy and they got separated. And he also lost his parents to, to, to these creatures when it, when it first went down. Because he, 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 he was living at ground zero when all the monsters attacked them the most. So he saw his parents get killed by the front of him, which, which gave him a, a fear of these monsters. Even though he has, he, he's brave and he wants to fight these monsters on, alongside of his family, help them out as well too. He wanted to do, he wanted to do more than just make the, um, the, the beef stroganoff. He wants to do more than that. But every time he sees one of these monsters, he practically pees his pants. So he's not ready. And they, they love him, and they like what he can do, and like they like him around. At the same time, they know he can't fight with them. They just sometimes say, "Dude, you can't do this. You, you're not strong enough." I'm, I'm happy that you. I'm, I, we do love you. We love you. We care about you. But this is not you. This guy, okay? it's okay. We're not, we're not. We're not hating you. We're not, we're not shaming you for this. Is this not your strong suit? You make the food. You bring. You 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 good with morale. But other than that, that's pretty much it. And so he's talking to his um his girlfriend on, on on the radio, and they have an attack. He had an attack at his place, and he realizes he doesn't want to live his life alone, because everybody in his, in his group has been, has been hooking up, partnering up, becoming couples. And he's by himself, and he got his girl who lives who's way out there. He says, "Well, I'm gonna go out there and see her." And, and people are just, "Really? You gonna do that?" Then okay, good luck. And then he goes off and leaves. And then on the, and on the way, he meets Michael Rourke's character, um, Clyde, and, and, and um, Ariana Greenbeth's character, um, Minnow. And they help him out. He also meets a dog who becomes like his best friend. And, and, that's, and, and you, see him, you see him going on the journey that he must meet his girlfriend. I pretty much read this movie. Very simple plot. Not, not much to it. He, a, a one dude out there on alone, meet some meet some people along the way, and fights off fights off some monsters, learn learn how to face his fears, just so you can meet the girl that he loves. And that's like I said. That's it. That's it. But overall, pretty good movie. I enjoyed the whole lot. So let's so let's, let's start off with the first before getting the good stuff. Let's start with the bad. The bad part about the movie is. I don't have anything bad to say about this movie at all. I don't have much bad to say about the movie. I enjoyed all the characters. I thought Donald O'Brien did an amazing job doing what he's doing. He, he, he pretty much like plays himself a little bit too. I've seen him like plays this, this kind of character before. If you, you see him in this, see him in this you, you kind of, it kind of reminds you of Styles. You saw him in Teen Wolf. So it's him, it's him like his, this is his personality. This is where he shines the most. And so it works. He's very, he's very sweet, lovable character. I mean, funny, kind of awkward, but he, he, but, but, he, um, but lovable. Brave, but he he's not like the the, like the, the, the heroic type really. He wants to help, but has these weaknesses and flaws you see him like overcome. And when he does when he finds when he does overcome him, you really you really do are proud of him. You really root for him. It's really, it felt really earned. So I don't have anything bad to say about the movie. I don't. Cause you think it's gonna go the way you think it's gonna go, but it doesn't go the way you think it's gonna go. It's just uh, oh oh, which makes the movie even better. It's just oh okay. Cause because the premise is pretty simple. So you think it's gonna go this way, and then you know what happens is, oh, oh, it got real. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. 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 But overall, so let's move on to the good stuff. 
the special, the special effects wise and the, the creatures and the monsters looks amazing. Oh my gosh, it looked, visually it looks fantastic. It's funny. I like the I really do like the characters. Um, I like I like Dylan. I like I like Joe who, who's played by Dylan O'Brien. I really do like his character because you follow him the most throughout the whole entire picture. And the people he meets along the way, I really do enjoy them too. Even his tribe, they don't they don't show them that much. I mean, they show them you don't get you don't get an idea of who they are that much, but you actually do. But, but, but you can tell that they that they that they love Dylan. and Dylan loves them too. And yeah, overall, this thing made you, made, this movie made you, I, I felt good after I felt watching it. It was fun. It was I, I, I laughed a couple times. Watching this character change and grow and evolve and learn from his mistakes and, and, and face his fears. And, and just, yeah, you, you, actually, you actually cheer him for him while you go on this journey as well, too. So overall, this is a, 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 this is a good movie. It's, pretty, it's a pretty good movie. I really did enjoy it all. I highly, I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, check it out for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Hopefully you watch it, you will enjoy it. Have fun watching it, too. And before I give it a grade, I just want to tell you right now, a little cut right here, um... I have partnered with Red, with RedBubble.com with a character I created called the Ninja Rabbit. And they put my character on, on pillows and t-shirts and masks and things of that nature. And I'm going to leave a link down below. If you see anything you like, buy something. I really do appreciate it a whole lot. I really do appreciate it. So, to give the movie a grade, I'm giving it a B+. Plus. A B+. Plus. I'll take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. Hopefully you watch it. You will enjoy it. Have fun watching it too. So, give my channel a like. Hit the thumbs up. Shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. So like I always say in my dreams in my life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. Uh, peace.